Good morning everyone, here is my Volkswagen ID7 Pro, this is Hank and today we're gonna do a range test at 130 kilometers an hour here on the highway. I'm here at Ionity, plugged in at 90%, preheated the battery, got 50 kilowatt, now at 97, I still have 32 or so and this is not important for anyone who's not an electric car tester like me. For me that's amazing that 200% is fast, for the normal person it can be 10 kilowatt as well. Who charges on a DC uh, fast charger to 100% usually do that at home. Um, we're here on the highway, it's cold, it's one degree today, it's foggy. I hope that I can still drive the 130 normally. Uh, I will go here right on the highway and drive my typical route and then we'll see how much range we get. I will uh, show you everything in the car, what we do. Oh my. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. <laughs> One degree wet, he's in flip flops, shorts, and a t shirt. I'm on my way, I'm driving 133, which is 130 GPS. I'm already at 90%, drove 26 kilometers, consumption is high, as always the first 10 kilometers are uphill and I have to accelerate to the 130 uphill. It was even at 300 watt hours per kilometer, it's steadily going down because now it's downhill. Uh, the average consumption that is that we can estimate is then in in 10 20 kilometers usually it's at a number that is then reality i'm not in eco mode as with all volkswagen and i'm not the biggest fan of that when you are in eco mode uh, you can only drive 130 even the cruise control doesn't go up to more than 130 and i tried driving 133 in comfort mode and then switching to eco still didn't work and also i think then the heat is reduced and i'm a bit cold in here because it's still one degrees foggy but i can see is this a matrix i think that's a Hyundai matrix that's my old car before walter yep it is <laughs> um, traffic is great uh, no trucks i mean little transporters and stuff like this not too many cars drive so far is comfortable car tells me at 90 percent 319 kilometers we'll see uh, and i'm listening to music i'm enjoying myself i have the heat on auto and 23 degrees but of course it's only doing driver not the rear and this side and i have the seat heater on full but i will put this on two as well I'm at 75% and drove exactly 75 kilometers. It just switched. That would mean a full range, if this goes on like this, of 300 kilometers. My average consumption, well, it's bumpy here, is 244 watt hours per kilometer. My average speed is 127, which is not normal for long distance driving, but I also haven't turned around or anything. I'm just driving straight. Uh, I hope I can see my exit, it's so foggy, but I think so. Uh, yes, and yeah, I expected a bit more and I expected a bit less consumption. And people will say, well, you're 23 degrees, you don't uh, heat, you don't have a heat pump, you have the winter tires on, it's one degrees. 
uh, one degree outside still I think I expected 320 330 at this speed even with the in these conditions but we'll see at the end uh, if it's any different because then it's also more accurate we still have uphill and uh, have to elevation change has to be uh, eliminated at some point I'm at 50% and drove 151 kilometers, so 302 kilometers. Consumption went down a tiny bit. Uh, and I'm also, I have to complain, so I'm disappointed with this range. And my gasometer tells me I have 171 kilometers, even though for the last 130 kilometers I had the exact same or almost same consumption. I would like it to show me 100 and 50 or 155 something like this that would be nice so gasometer is disappointing range is disappointing i'm crying <laughs> nah uh, yeah but i expected a bit more because uh, yes my heat is at 23 degrees i repeat myself but it's also not hot in here it's comfortable but it's not hot i'm sure with the heat pump it would be 10 20 kilometers more Ooh, other than that drive is amazing that you can see that on my average speed 127 kilometers an hour average speed that is extremely high it's just I never have to slow down <laughs> I turned around once and I changed highway once and on a, on a change of the highway I can still drive 110 so awesome um, I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying music. The sound system is is nice. Uh, it's not the the best I've ever heard, but it's uh, better than most that I have experienced in cars and even in expensive cars. They think they're better cars. <laughs> I'm not mentioning anyone. Um, it's better than in Walter, for sure. Yes, and noise level at the 130. Um, I don't know if it's quieter than Walter. Um, I'm comfy and it's not annoying me, so I'm guessing it's fine. I don't also don't know if today with a tiny bit of wet road or a damp road, if the, the vol if it's louder. I have no idea. Um, but I'm comfy. Travel Assist does its thing perfectly. We talk about how the the long distance uh, uh, experience is in a second. Yeah, at some point I will turn around and I can't navigate with the navigation system uh, to the charger because battery tells me it's not perfectly warm. I could preheat the battery and I don't want to do that because it will uh, increase the consumption and destroy my range in this range test. So I will use Android Auto Google Maps to navigate to the charger and then we can see what if it still shows me the data of the navigation in here anyways in the head-up display I don't even know I'm sure it will not do the augmented reality part but or maybe it does an arrow or something we'll see I want to see arrow Long distance driving with the Volkswagen ID7. I love it, but I also love it uh, quiet and comfortable. Um, with the noise level, um, I'm honest, I don't think it's too much quieter than my ID3 at 130. I don't think so, but it, that's enough for me. It's more comfortable than my ID3 for sure. It's, uh, uh, the suspension is better. Um, steering is nice even though I have it on travel assist the whole time, also 
so only if I go off the highway. <laughs> um, other than that, I have it on the whole time and it's steering itself even on lane change. I do that. I wouldn't say it makes it the experience better, but it's just easy. You put the indicator in and it does it itself and goes back. The infotainment system for long distance driving, I think it's great. It might feel sometimes a bit much, preheating the battery for the next charging stop if you want that. Awesome. Sound system, I like, I love. Uh, so the, the adaptive cruise control regulates itself amazingly. It, it's slowing down slowly, even though I'm in comfort mode, not in the, uh, setting for eco for the adaptive cruise control where it doesn't even uh, does it even more comfortable and slower like i said self-steering is amazing it doesn't fight me ever <laughs> since i got the car from the start it stay it stays in the middle and you can select yourself so if it is in the middle and you steer always a bit more to the right it will learn that you will like it a bit more to the right and it will do that and I like it in the middle, <laughs> the, the middle that I see, I think it's middle, and it's steering itself amazingly, it's not bugging me, it's not fighting me, I just have to touch it, and it doesn't matter on what side, um, it's in a comfortable position, I sit very comfortably, I, I have the massage function on a, a few times, and this is the, the, the arrow that I already said that this car has, for whatever reason, I start the massage function and it tells me 30 minutes, and it only does it for a minute or two. For whatever reason, it doesn't do 30 minutes. I don't know why. By the way, uh, they changed the behavior of the um, haptic feedback buttons. So in my ID3, when I did the, the change in speed, 10 kilometers an hour more or less, uh, I pressed it and then, I don't know, 200 milliseconds later I got the feedback the vibration and it always felt weird because it was a bit late now this vibration is less and it feels like it's right there so when I change it now it just feels like a normal normal button it's way better maybe Walter was defective <laughs> I don't know but it's better now head up display is awesome uh, um, with the augmented reality part which right now I don't need since I'm not doing any navigation but it's nice to see that I have travel assist on that to see the distance to the front car it, it shows me that the car is there and I have information in there my state of charge my range the assist system my speed of course the the traffic sign recognition uh, Android Auto by the way um, I have Google Maps now navigating to the charger and I see that in 21 kilometers I have to get go right so I see this here um, I don't see any other information and the augmented reality part also doesn't give me more information and I can see my average speed in the head up this average consumption in my head up, head up display as well if I need that but I can switch it all off I have only the speed in there This video is supported by Maingau Autostrom. With Maingau you can charge at 500,000 public charging stations. 100,000 of those chargers are in Germany. You can start your charging session with the app or with the card and you have the same price on all DC chargers and on all AC chargers except for Ionity. If you use Mangao as your provider for home gas, power, mobile or internet, you get a special price for charging as well. You get 15% on their internet services, 25% on their mobile services and 30% in their online shop. With this you pay at DC charging stations 59 cent per kilowatt hour, at AC chargers 49 cent per kilowatt hour and at Ionity 75 cent per kilowatt hour. If you're interested in Mango, there's a link in the description below. I arrived with 267 kilometers, 2 hours, 6 minutes, average speed 126, and what, what happened? Oh, I pressed it. And where was I? Average consumption 240 watt hours per kilometer, and you see, climate is still using 2 kilowatt to heat up the car. 
that's because I don't have a heat pump. And I arrived with 13%. If you want to follow me on Instagram, here's Battery Life One. Um, I'm always posting pictures. Uh, if there's something going on, it's very interesting. If you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below, and there's also channel membership here on YouTube. I'm doing a charging test now. The real kilometers that I have driven were 265 kilometers, and I arrived with 13%. That would mean a full range of 304 kilometers. That's not amazing, I'm a bit disappointed. I was expecting 330 in these conditions, so 10% more. <laughs> so I'm gonna cry a bit. <laughs> yeah, see, that, that even in my car, I'm not lying. I try to get the best range, but if it's not possible, it's not possible. <laughs> I do what I can. So uh, I'm charging, doing now a charging test now, and then I will do a range test at 110 kilometers an hour. Then I can drive in eco mode. Um, Yes, and we'll see what range we can get there. But that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.